I have an update on Poolside Karen. Courtney... Courtney L. So, so Courtney uh, sent me a message last night after I identified her, and this is how it started. I said, I found you. Do you want to give your side of the story, or do you want to apologize? You know, what direction do you want to go in this? She says, oh, okay, I'll tell you what happened. Which, by the way, immediately... Got the right person. Founder, founder. <laughs> Got no. it. I mean, I know I have the right person. I always verify before I post it, but I'm never comfortable until there's like that admission. We got her. She went on to say that I'd like to tell you my side of the story. I'm her 11 year old daughter. <clears throat> no, um, I don't want to talk to your 11 year old daughter. Did you just hand her the phone? Can I, so I said, can I please talk to your mom? I don't talk to kids. Which, by the way, I don't believe it was ever the kid. I believe she was hiding behind her kid. Anyway, so then she sent me this long apology, which I don't know why she's apologizing to me. I'm not judge, jury, executioner. I'm not the victim of this. Anyway, so she goes on to apologize because she wants to take the video down. She says that earlier in the day, just like we had said in the video, earlier in the day, somebody was, she believed, being racist towards her and her kids, and she was still mad about that. So when she heard kids laughing, who, by the way, the kids again said they were never laughing at her daughter. And the daughter in question actually kept telling the mom to please stop. They they did not laugh at me. And uh, it could be, I'm just throwing it out there, it could be the fact that she's obviously inebriated that made her think so. Now, a lot of you commented that it doesn't seem like it's just alcohol. It, it could be something more, you know, like... Uh, you want to build a snowman? Yes! So anyway, she accuses the kids of going ballistic, but we saw in video who was being ballistic. She says that this kid was stepping up to her and she's talking about the young man who put himself between the crazy Karen and the young girls that she was trying to attack. And that later on her husband came by and talked to the HOH and they had actually uh, banned everyone from the pool for two weeks. Now, when I followed up on this, that was not true. And the kids did get banned for like 10 days or something because they, they kept arguing back. But Courtney was lobe sacked from the pool for the rest of the summer. Lobe sacked. <laughs> she like anyway, as you know, whenever I talk to people, I try to talk reason to them. And I did the same thing right here. But after this message, she deleted her profile. Uh, take a listen. But they're, you know, they're kids. And you are visibly inebriated in that video. So maybe it was like a lapse of judgment. I don't know if it's drugs or alcohol. I'm not going to make an assumption. But something has you riled up. Um, and not thinking clearly at that moment. Uh, but that in itself is, is problematic. That in itself is worrisome. That is not the way to deal, you know, with kids. You can't, you, you even said when you walked up to them, you could tell that they were minors. You can't be like, you know, puffing your chest at them like you're about to hit them. That's legally, even if you don't hit him, is assault. Oh, I wonder why that message got her so worried. Anyway, to answer your question, no, I'm absolutely not taking my video down. Good luck. Good luck.